Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Sir Razzle Dazzle Physics. In today's session, we're going to be talking about the Doppler effect. Okay, so what exactly is the Doppler effect? Let's look at this example. Right, so here I've drawn an ambulance. Yeah, so here's my ambulance. Yeah, it's not the best diagram in the world. My GCSE wasn't great in art, but it is what it is, people. So here we've got an ambulance, and what's going to be happening is the ambulance will be emitting sound waves from it. Obviously, because the siren's on. So let's draw the sound waves. So the sound waves look like the following. Okay, so we can see that the sound waves are now coming out of the ambulance, yeah? So the sound waves are coming out of the ambulance, very similar to like ripples in water. If you want to, just imagine a pond and imagine we drop pebbles where the ambulance is. These are circular ripples which are traveling away from the ambulance. Okay, so the ambulance is letting out this noise, yes? Yeah? So the noise is coming out of the ambulance. Hopefully you can identify what an ambulance sounds like. I don't have to make that noise for you. Right, so the ambulance is not moving right now, but what happens if I was to stand at two different positions? So let's put myself over here on the left-hand side of the ambulance, and what happens if I was to stand behind the ambulance? So now I'm standing behind the ambulance, and I'm standing in front. So there's two of me, yeah? Twins, twins if you want, whatever. Right, so what's going to happen is the ambulance is now going to start to move. So the ambulance is going to start to move in this direction. So the ambulance is going to move in this direction. The thing to think about is what's going to happen to those waves? What's going to happen to those waves? If I'm moving in this direction, we'll notice that we'll see the following pattern. Some of the waves will be compressed on one side and some of the waves will be stretched out on the other. Therefore, changing the way the waves look, it will look like the following. So if I'm moving in this direction, so this direction, it will look like the following. Right, so hopefully we can see that in front of the ambulance, what will happen is the waves will be compressed and therefore we will have a higher frequency. So over here, I will have a higher frequency, higher frequency. Why? Because frequency is the number of waves per second. So I've got more waves arriving per second. Right, and if I'm hearing it from behind, what will happen is I will hear a lower frequency. Why? Because the waves are spaced out. So we will get a lower frequency. Hopefully we can remember that frequency is equal to the number of waves per second. So if I'm in front of it, the waves are being compressed, I will then get a higher frequency. So, And if I'm standing behind the ambulance and the ambulance is moving away from me, what's going to happen is I'll experience a lower frequency. So we get a lower frequency being heard. So right, so if I'm getting a higher frequency, what exactly is happening in terms of the wavelength? What is happening in terms of the wavelength? So if you've forgotten what the difference between frequency and wavelength is, Here's a quick reminder. Okay, so now we're going to have a quick recap upon frequency and wavelength. Right, so the question is, which one has the highest wavelength? Hopefully we can remember that the wavelength is the distance from peak to peak. So in the first one, that's the wavelength. In the second one, that's the wavelength. Which one has the longest wavelength? Hopefully we can see that. The first one has the longer wavelength. There is a greater distance between peak to peak. And the second one has a shorter wavelength. Okay. Now, which one has the highest frequency? Which one has the highest frequency? Well, if you have forgotten, so hopefully we can see that the one on the right has the higher frequency because there is more waves per second, and the one on the left has a lower frequency. So there is a relationship between frequency and wavelength. We can say that they are inversely proportional to one another. So if the wavelength is high, the frequency is low. And if the frequency is high, therefore the wavelength must be low. So that is the relationship between frequency and wavelength. Right, so going back to the Doppler effect diagram. So we had at the start over here, the ambulance not moving, you know, equal waves are being formed everywhere. But if the ambulance moves towards one side, yeah, we notice that some of the waves are being compressed. So therefore, if the waves are compressed, there are more waves per second, the frequency is higher. And obviously at the back, we notice that the frequency is lower because there are less waves per second. And now we can talk about the wavelength. So if the frequency is higher, we know that the wavelength is lower. Wavelength is lower. If the object is moving towards you. And if the object is moving away from you, we can see that the wavelength is longer in this case. Okay with that? And that is the Doppler effect. So the Doppler effect is equal to the apparent change in wavelength due to the relative motion between the source, which is the ambulance in this case, and the observer where you are. All right, you're never going to be asked to know about that form of definition, but just look at it, guys. All right, so if the ambulance is moving towards you, the frequency will increase, 
and if the object is moving away from you, the frequency will decrease. And that's the reason why, if you're out, ever out on the street, you hear an ambulance go past you, you'll notice that the sound changes. It's not because the ambulance, somebody's inside changing the sound, it's because as it's moved towards you, the frequency gets higher. As it moves away from you, the frequency gets lower. Very similar to a Formula One racetrack, yes, as it moves towards you, the frequency is higher. As it moves away from you, the frequency gets lower. Okay, so quick recap once again from the top. We have at the start, we said that if a source, for example, an ambulance is giving off sound waves, okay, and it's not moving right now, we know that the sound waves are equal on both sides. And if you are standing in front of the source or behind it, you'll experience a different frequency. If you're in front, the frequency will increase and the wavelength gets lower. And obviously, if you're behind it and it's moving away from you, the frequency gets lower and the wavelength gets longer. And we said frequency is the number of waves per second. And we had a quick recap between the relationship between the wavelength and frequency. We can see that as the wavelength increases, the frequency drops down. And when the frequency increases, the wavelength drops down because they are inversely proportional. And that's it, guys, for another session in Serrazzle Dazzle Physics. I shall see you next time for more cool physics lessons. Enjoy it, enjoy it, and like it. Goodbye, guys.